I am at the train station in Colombo and I am about to take a train from here to Candy. And I'm curious, why is there a sink in front of the train station here? If anyone of you knows, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, I just bought a train ticket, first class for 600 rupees. Actually, I was more keen to uh, take the second class because, not because I want to save some money, just because I think it's more interesting to experience the yeah, the local second class. I imagine the first class will be full with tourists. Hello, where's the train to Candy? Third? Walk over there? Okay, Suti. So yeah, it's going to be like a three hour train journey and Candy is uh, quite in the middle of the country, higher in the mountains, so it's going to be a little bit colder, that's what I heard. So I have my my jacket with me just to uh, to be sure I and I haven't finished my sentence talking about the first and the second class they told me the second class is already full and I have to take a first class ticket there are some announcements in the background and all the locals starting to, to run to another platform I also do think that second class does not have a seat reservation I think that's why everybody is running towards the platform to uh, be the first one on the train to get a good seat. Right here. M29 here. Ah, here. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Yeah, as expected in this class, you see lots of tourists. Ah. Okay. No, no, no. But no, 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 I don't want to sign something. No, no, no. Okay, not sure what that was now. He uh, wanted me to sign something on the paper and uh, asking for money. But uh, yeah, he was actually nice, helped me find the right seat and everything. So yeah, you can give a little bit to the people here and there if they help you, why not? But uh, he wanted to sign me something for, for some uh, deaf schools or something. I'm not sure, that's always something I don't really like to do. Ah, and I found this so I can actually adjust the seat. Somebody behind me? No, <laughs> so I can do this. Ah, yeah, now it's actually very comfortable. And yeah, the train ride then started and it was a slow train ride and very, very bumpy. It was, I think, the most bumpiest train ride I ever had in my life, but I actually really enjoyed it. The thing I like about taking train or bus rides, especially in new countries, is that it actually gives you the opportunity to see something from the country. And my first impressions of rural Sri Lanka are super awesome. It's super beautiful, super green, coconut trees everywhere. So I really enjoyed the ride. And yeah, after three, three and a half hours, we made it to Candy. Candy 488 meters above mean sea level. Uh, tuk -tuk. Okay. Yes, Tok Tok. Vendor, the name, sir. Vendor Maliga. How much? No. Pick, pick, pick me is 230. I give you 300. 300 give me that. No. It's 230 here. 300. For candy, not so cold. I thought candy cold, I need this. Early morning cold. And morning is cold. Ah, okay, okay. It's actually as hot here as in Colombo at the moment. Okay, what's your name? Rosan. Rosan? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Ken. Ken. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. How many people live in Candy? Candy? How many people? 100,000 to 100,000. Ah, 200, 200, yeah, yeah. 200, ah, okay. 200,000. I think in Colombo is around the million. Wow. Local market, the main market. Ah, candy market. Yeah, local market. Oh, yeah, maybe I go tomorrow. Open all day? Yeah, yeah. All day? Oh, yeah, lovely local market here. Yeah, that looks definitely like a place we're going to check out either later in this video or in the next video, one of the next videos. Oh, fresh oranges here. Ok, 
Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Five hundred. It's okay. Okay. Have a good day. Bye bye. First impression looks like a lovely little mountain town. Wait. Okay. 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 Have TV. Oh yeah, here's a good desk. Can I work here? When you are from, you can use this oh, balcony. balcony. You can go here. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Let's have a quick look. Ah, mountains here. And the mountain and the temple. A ah, temple over there. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. The temple. How how cold is it here in the night? I heard uh, heavy no. cold in the night. No. No cold. No cold in time. If you want any any anything, uh -huh. I to hear after five o'clock. He is going okay. away. Okay. I'm staying in the night here. Uh -huh. You must give a call for me. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Yeah. Okay, Alex. Nice okay. to meet you. Okay. Then you contact my number. Uh -huh. I'll write and give a number. Oh, you have a number? Yeah. Phone number. You can direct phone me, not receive. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, not receive, sir. If anything problem? After 10 o'clock, uh -huh. any have trouble, uh -huh. water trouble, electric trouble, okay. I'm here, you give me a call. Okay. Midnight or in the morning, no problem. Okay, normally after 10 I sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank thanks. you. Thanks Stuti. God. Thank you very you. much. Okay. Bohoma is Stuti. Stuti. Bohoma is Stuti. So much thanks. So much thanks. Yes. That is signal uh -huh. is Bohoma is Stuti. Bohoma is Stuti. That means like, thank you very much. Is thank you very ah, much. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Uh, what a lovely uh, uh, welcoming here. Nice. But um, yeah, this is not a hotel video, so I will just show you the hotel room really quickly and then we go out explore the lovely city of Handy. And yeah, the price here, in case you're wondering, is 3,500 rupees per night. Okay, thank you very much. Is this already the, the temple area? Oh, no problem, sir. Yeah, video, uh, photos, videos, no problem, sir. No problem. Sure. Inside, okay. no problem, yeah. Okay. No problem, sir. All right, it is the next day and I came to the local temple, which is a super famous temple in Sri Lanka. And yeah, I got this, I think you call it Sarong, Sarong. I had uh, the same dress a few times in Malaysia as well, fitting to my Malaysian t-shirt today. And uh, yeah, let's have a look around. Yeah, so this temple is the temple of the sacred tooth relic and it's one of the most important Buddhist temples in all of Sri Lanka and the local Buddhist people, they believe that a tooth from Buddha is inside this temple. There's a huge shrine inside and I actually just walked around the whole area and all of the, the inside parts and it took me yeah, almost an hour now. It's a quite a big area. You have to pay 2000 rupees to enter. I think as a local you pay nothing, but as a foreigner, as a tourist, it's 2000 rupee to enter. And I was quite curious to see if the local Buddhist temple or a local Buddhist temple in Sri Lanka looks similar or comparable to Buddhist temples in Thailand. I am not quite sure if the, the Buddhism in Sri Lanka is the same as the Buddhism in Thailand. If any one of you knows more about that, feel free to share your knowledge in the comment section. I would love to, to know more about it. But you can see the temple looks very different from the temples in Thailand. The architecture style is totally different from the outside. But from the inside, it was actually quite comparable. You have lots of Buddha statues and big pictures and it looks quite, yeah, quite holy and yeah, actually quite nice to see. So just to even as a non-Buddhist person, it was nice to just have a look at it, walk around and witness, uh, yeah, what are the locals doing in here? It was quite interesting for me to see. The, the locals are doing merits inside, they pray. So that was actually quite uh, comparable to what I've seen in Thai temples. And one thing that I find really interesting here is that 90% or even 95% of the locals are wearing right, completely right color. So the right color seems to mean something here also. My uh, sarong here is in right as well. So if any one of you can explain what the color right represents or means here, 
then uh, please let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I also read that it is the goal of every Buddhist person in Sri Lanka to visit this temple at least once in their lifetime. So quite interesting for me to see. And now we can yeah, walk along the, the lake here towards the Candy City Center. Yeah, we have this beautiful lake here surrounded by the city and it looks super picturesque and it's super nice. There's a wind blowing against me. The, the vibes here are awesome. It's not as hot because of the wind here. Super nice to yeah, walk around. You can actually walk around the whole lake. It takes maybe like an hour. That's what I heard. So I just walked now from the temple over there to here, like a short five, five to ten minutes walk. And here we have now the start of the old town. And here, once again, all the people think they are going to the temple are dressed in purely white colors. That's really interesting. I'm wondering why, still wondering. So because, yeah, you can also enter the temple from this side, actually, and then walk over the area over to the main temple over there. And yeah, I am here now to try Dosai. To be honest, I'm not sure what Dosai really is, but I'm here to, uh, to try it and to find out. And this place was recommended in the comment section. And I love to get recommendations from you guys in the comment section, either from locals or from people who have been here already. And oh, this looks interesting. Maybe like a, like a wedding. Huge convoy here. This looks like police cars. Oh, what is going on here? But anyway, let's find out what Dosai is. Hello. I would like to try some Dosai. Yes. Can I sit here? Yes. Order here or order on the table? Order over. Ah, okay. Thank you. Dosai, yes. From America, USA. From Germany. Germany? Yes. I think he saw the, the flag here is from the USA. I can sit here and order at the table. Ah, you, I will give you menu, sir. I will see menu after we order here. Ah, we have menu here, right? Yeah, here also. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the menu here. Let's see, uh, so yeah, we have to play one. Oh, we have to try one plain dosa. And then what else? Cheese onion dosa. Oh, maybe some special drinks, masala chai. I think it's something similar like roti shanai, like a little pancake style. I would like to try plain dosa, one, and masala chai. Is that a tea? Sorry? It's tea, right? Tea. Tea, okay. Okay, and uh, one water. Uh, this masala chai with sugar or without sugar? Uh, without sugar, please. Without sugar. Yes. This is dosai. Is this typical Sri Lanka food or from India? Ah, okay. But it's typical in Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And these are different types of uh, sauce. Uh, chutney. Uh huh. Vegetable. Every vegetable mix. Ah, yeah. Okay. Some okay. curry. And you eat this with hands? Uh, yeah. You are using hand. hands. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I can wash over there and then yeah, eat yeah. with hands. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's tutti. So yeah, that was my guess. You eat this with the hands to look away. So let's uh, wash the hands. Because yeah, if you are here, do as the locals do. They are also brought me a spoon and a knife here, but I want to eat it the local way with the hands. Hello. No, I'm from Germany. Because I like Malaysia. I, I live in Malaysia for one year. Yeah, but I'm from Germany. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like Malaysia, yeah. Nice color. Hmm? Nice color? Oh, yeah. Malaysia Tiger football team. <laughs> huh? T shirt? You want to have the t shirt? Ah, I'm sorry. I have to keep the t shirt. <laughs> Memory from Malaysia. Ah, actually, many people today uh, speak to me because of the T-shirt. So yeah, it really reminds me of um, how you get roti shanai in Malaysia. Like you get uh, the plain meal, and then you have different uh, dips, sauce or curries to dip it in. And let's see if it's actually comparable to roti shanai. It looks 
way bigger. Looks like a huge crispy pancake. It is crispy here. Yeah? I guess it's not sweet. But uh, you saw the menu. You can also order with cheese, with onions. Not sure. I think I don't see sweet combinations on the menu, but let's just try it plain first. Mm. It is like a crispy pancake, I would say. So just uh, the plain dosa is pretty not spectacular. So I think you really have to use the dips here, which we are going to do now. Mm, but it is a quite big one, right? Okay. Ah, the tea, yes. This is uh, like a milk tea? Yeah, masala, so masala tea. Masala tea. Yeah, yeah, not, not uh, normal tea. What, what is masala, masala tea? It's uh, making the look of things. Blender, blender. Ah, okay, I will try. You want to see masala? See? You want to see masala? You can show me? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Not sure what masala is. Oh, wow. Oh, it reminds me about uh, Christmas tree, uh, Christmas teas in Germany. So I believe masala is a type of spice. Mm. Oh, it reminds me about Christmas time. Ah, it's very delicious. Mm. This is masala. Ah, masala. Okay. Is that uh, spice? Yeah, spice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Oh wow, masala tea. Never heard about that before, but yeah, let's use the dips here. Oh, this is like a fresh dip. Mm. Wow, I really like this. Hello. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think you said I like your t-shirt. Oh, the Malaysia t-shirt here gets really a lot of comments today. So take one piece, mm -hmm. one, two, three, and three. Everything okay. together? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, do you recommend taking everything together? Mm. Oh wow, oh, this is the best. Wow, like an explosion of different flavors in my mouth. Wow. And the tea here, oh, awesome. What a meal. Thank you for the recommendation to you guys. Thank you very much, Tutti. Yeah, the masala chai tea was awesome. Definitely going to try that again. And also, I think next time I'm going to try dosa with like cheese or with uh, onions. They had different types of dosa. So definitely going to try more of them. And also, I have to admit, I haven't tried Sri Lanka's staple dish, kotu, yet. I heard potu is the most popular dish here, the most famous one, like the, the one food that everybody has to try when coming here. And I have to admit, I haven't tried that one. So maybe we can make that the goal of uh, the next or one of the next videos to try potu as well. And yeah, speaking of Sri Lankan food, I did a street food tour in Colombo a few days ago. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right here. Thanks for joining today. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next video from Sri Lanka very soon. Ciao.